Nolan Tanglalan from Bright again with Robert Goodin, Director of Marketing, North American Internet and Wireless Business Unit of NAVTEC, supplier of map data, worldwide map data to many, many places that I'm sure you know about. Um, so, Robert, we were talking about how do I get access to your data? I know I can get it through your partners, but... Here's, what, here's what's interesting, though, because it's, you know, we, we, we pretty much supply, supply our data in a couple, couple different ways. Yeah. So one, one way, obviously, is we make direct, direct, direct life deals right. with, with folks who, who take the content and create value for it. Right. right. That's pretty much a given. I mean, the second way you just mentioned is through some of our partners, and there are more partners of APIs. Yeah, you know, like Google, right? Yahoo. MapQuest. Right. Et cetera. Right. Yeah. And that's, that's one other way. And yeah. But a smaller, much smaller, smaller developer who really just wants just wants to hack. That's the best way. Games. That's probably the best way because it's economically practical. Right? Yes. I mean, that it's, it's basically it's for all practical purposes it's free. Yeah. Right. Until you want to go commercial with it, then somebody else has got to get paid on the back end. Too. Right. But the cool thing is Google and the Yahoo's and the MacQuests of this world pay for the infrastructure while you're playing around. Exactly. Which is yeah. Exactly. So our whole our whole our whole goal goal and it's kind of strange for a company that's a for profit entity obviously. It is really if we figure if we stimulate, if we stimulate no innovation you know, yeah. with, with location, yeah. we win anyway. So if I'm Yonbao Muse, which is a Vancouver-based project, um, can I get access to your data without going through Google or MacQuest or Yahoo? Well, I think I think our our contact our tech context is if you've got a, a community a community community yeah. that can that can leverage leverage the can leverage the content yeah. And let's forget about commercial purposes for a second. Right. And so, so to stimulate some innovation. Yeah, we def we definitely would be, be willing and probably more like would likely to help you help you out. Yeah, if it's strategic or if it promotes you, or if you're sort of nonprofit or, uh, yeah, it I'm helps the helps the world. I'm Any the exposure helps you, right? I'm the marketing guy, so right. Yeah. When you say, when you say promotion, <laughs> awareness, right? Yeah. That's that's fundamentally one of one of our goals because yeah. it's a big road out there, and there are a whole lot of people who really don't understand really what this whole contact location can do for them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I work at Bright, and we work with open source called software for content management and blogging called Drupal, and we have a few developers, a handful, who are on our team. The rest are 400 or so worldwide, primarily in Europe, and they. We have three, four, five mapping modules which use the APIs we just mentioned. So, but a lot of them are at university. Um, there's a large Drupal presence at university. So, if they could get access to your data and uh, do academic projects for PhD, masters, doesn't have to be computer science. It might even just be sociology and, and psychology and, and things like that. It's because that's what it's. I think that's where it's at, right? Uh, we're finally getting to a stage where computers and telephones, which are really computers now are actually useful, right, to the common man. Like, maps are useful to the common woman and the common man. Uh, even spreadsheets, or if you're not an accountant, don't really make sense. Or even word processors, like, I'm always telling people, this is why I'm video blogging you instead of podcasting. <laughs> or, uh, that video is bigger. Pictures and video and audio are bigger than text in today's culture. So yeah, It's funny you said, you said maps, because they, that's, that's one of the other terms that I can't have. Try, try to shoot down right away. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's I, why I, I say I it. Think, I think the map, I always thought of a map as being that old atlas, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A static you thing. Out, it went static and you pulled out. Nothing yeah. fundamentally changes. And yeah. Once you started moving, right, the, the value of it starts to decrease. Right. Right. So we so we're still always bring, bring it back to you. We're not just, not, it's not really map, it's location. Map, the map, digital map is just a vehicle. Right. right to provide, provide that smart location information. Right. Yeah, so you guys are an enabler for five smart, dynamic location information. That's exactly it. <laughs> <laughs> I can hand away with the best of them. Thanks a lot, Robert. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye.